British Engines is a group of engineering companies rooted in the northeast, with markets all over the world. Singapore, Kazakhstan, Norway, Azerbaijan, we've been all over. And if you want to get on, this is the place to be. And high caliber employees for all disciplines are needed to maintain British Engines services to its customers. It's a very, very fast moving environment. You could be asked to pack something the size of a matchbox and send it to Korea or something the size of a two-storey building for somewhere else in the world. We're acutely aware of the, that there's big competition for people out there. We need really good skills to address the markets we're going into. As we develop, we need really good people in all our technology areas. We recruit at all levels, people with university degrees and people without university degrees. But coming on site and understanding that they are part of a bigger family make people stay and want it to work for us. We do invest a lot in, in equipment, but yeah, people even, even more so. We invest a lot of time, money and effort in training people, because they're the future. There's lots of people in this company starting at the bottom, young apprentices and they work their way through. You know, they, they're always investors in people. After just a few weeks with the company, Jonathan Fife couldn't agree more. He didn't go to university and doesn't regret his decision, after hearing the plight of some of his friends. Already they're struggling with money and I'm getting paid to, paid to learn here. So I think I need to just take, a, take every opportunity I get and then just keep on, keep on doing good. Well, I think I'm doing good. British Engines has trained 600 apprentices in the last 45 years. We have a successful training programme for apprentices. All our apprentices are offered full-time permanent employment at the end of it. So there is something there to go for. I always wanted to work in engineering, I didn't want to just go and work in a shop. If you need help, you can speak to your people on the shop floor, your team leaders, you can go down to HR, you can speak to your college lecturers, TDR. And I think what the apprenticeship gives them is clearly a skill, it gives them a qualification, it gives them a job, but more importantly, it gives them a future. But training and education doesn't stop there. They sponsored us to do a degree while I was doing my apprenticeship and once I was out of time they let you continue until, until you get it. So it's good sort of support and helps you want to succeed. People like Joanne are helping to change the traditional image of an engineer. It was a challenge because obviously there's not very many women in engineering and everybody wanted us to do it. It was even better that I proved that I can succeed. Before this I'd never really opened my mind and spoke to anyone outside, well, the UK. I didn't realise the different types of culture, like how it differs from ourselves. You really do, you learn a lot. You've got to be really switched on and so even though I've been here 15 years, you're learning new things all of the time. What it is like one big family and one team who work together. Working together has never been better demonstrated than by British Engines' approach to safety. It's been from the top down, you know, right through the chairman, all the way through the business to the employees, that it's not walking past anything that is unsafe, thinking about the job carefully before you start, and really trying to get the ergonomics of the business right and our working practices right so that we can cut the accidents right down to zero. I believe it will be a uh bigger opportunity for all of us, not only for the ones which are employed currently, but the ones which will join us in the future.